fashion evolves faster than most of us can keep up, both in terms of cost and closet space. One company has come up with an incredible solution. Rent the Runway is disrupting the trillion dollar fashion industry and changing the way women get dressed through their closet in the cloud, the world's first and largest shared designer closet. Through Rent the Runway, customers can subscribe, rent items a la carte, and shop resale from over 750 designer brands. It is a powerful two-sided discovery engine for consumers to discover new brands and for designers to unlock new customers and unique data. What problems did you see in the fashion industry that led you to create Rent the Runway? Well, I've always thought that the closet is basically dead. It's filled with all these things that don't even fit us anymore, that we don't wear anymore. So the idea behind Rent the Runway was what if the closet were alive and it could actually change with you as your size changed and your life changed and your life stage changed. And that's what we've been pioneering over the past 13 years, the closet in the cloud, which is the world's first and largest shared designer closet. What were some of the challenges of building something brand new in an industry that hadn't changed much? We've always had a mission to build a two-sided discovery platform where customers can find new brands that they love and brands can find new customers that they need. By offering women access to a closet in the cloud, they could wear whatever they want without having to own it. So for the customer, we're able to unlock the freedom of self-expression. And because of that, she discovers new brands and she engages really deeply with our platform. They get way more fashion for way less money. And our brands are able to tap into this engaged community to find customers that they love. Our average customer tries 54 new brands in her first year with us. So we've truly become become one of the most powerful customer acquisition engines for designers. Sustainability is more important to consumers today than ever before. What role can rental play in making the world a little bit more sustainable? So, you know, fashion is one of the more pollutive industries on earth, and 70% of those negative emissions come from the production of new clothing. Our business model has always been about getting women to buy less clothes and use our shared closet to wear what they want. And this is actually working. We found that over the past decade, we have displaced the production of 1.3 million new garments, meaning those garments never had to be produced because Rent the Runway exists. We've also proven that on a per wear basis, renting has environmental savings versus linear purchase when it comes to water use, CO2 and energy. So we are really proud of the solution of the shared closet in inspiring people to buy less and access more. You were the first company to go public with a female founder, CFO, and COO. What does that milestone mean to you and importantly to your company? You know, I'm incredibly proud. It's amazing to be part of such a historic moment, but it's also really surprising. I have a real mix of emotions around this, and it's proof of how difficult it is for women to have a big dream, to raise the capital, to inspire the team, and, and be able to take it to this place. It really proves to me that we have so much more work to be done to open up these kinds of incredible opportunities to more women from diverse backgrounds, because that's the way that entrepreneurship is actually gonna solve the most problems. In 2018, you made the decision to equalize leave benefits. Why did you do that, and what does that mean to your company? For years, we had been treating our salaried employees better, in some cases, than our hourly employees by giving them more generous packages around parental leave and paid family sick leave and bereavement leave. And I started thinking about how confusing that was because we already distinguish between someone's contribution to the company, that's called your salary. However, we don't have to distinguish between people's humanity. You know, my life events are equally important to any person's life events at our company. One of the interesting things about this is that it was met with skepticism. People thought that it was gonna dramatically increase our costs by nature of offering these benefits, when in fact, we're now three years into this decision and this has led to higher loyalty rates amongst our hourly employees 
a general feeling of safety and you know, great culture, as well as the fact that we have lower training costs and lower continuous hiring costs. What does it mean to you to list on NASDAQ? It's really just a dream come true. When you're building a company, you don't dream big enough to imagine that one day you're gonna have the opportunity to be with your team and take a company public and have the permanence that comes from having Rent the Runway be a ticker symbol and having people around the world know about it. It's so humbling, I'm so proud, I'm so excited. This is such an incredible next chapter for the business. One of the most fascinating things that we recently learned is that 56% of all women in the US right now say that they will subscribe to fashion at some point over the next five years. We had to normalize the behavior of renting clothes. We had to make it cool. We had to make it mainstream. Then we had to encourage women to consider renting clothes, not just for special events, but for every event in their life. We're not just using Netflix or Spotify anymore. We have subscriptions to food delivery. We have subscriptions to our fitness. And we also now have subscriptions to our closet.